They should have cut into the foundation right here. The home inspector should have caught this. It's so cold over by the main sink. Wow, there's one hell of a draft here. There's a crawl space under here yeah. that we can't get to. We thought it was the house of our dreams. It's turned into a bit of a nightmare. Neil and Michelle loved the house at first sight. Beautiful kitchen addition. Home inspection went well, and then problems started to rise once they moved in. Electrical issues, breakers going off, the floor freezing cold in the winter. There's more problems than they expected. I'm gonna have to go in, and I'll make it right. Well, Michelle and I uh, met each other and um, fell in love and wanted to start a life together. Since we were getting married, we thought we should get a new house too. New marriage, new house. We spent quite a bit of time looking at houses. We looked at quite a few and we thought we found it uh, when uh, we came across this one. It's a great neighborhood, very nice, nicely looked after homes. The size of the house was perfect for us, just yeah. the two of us. We really liked the, the, the ground floor layout, having a family room, a living room, a dining room and this large garden kitchen. Mm -hmm. It just seemed like it was made for us. Our primary concern was this addition because knowing that it was added on, uh, it wasn't part of the original building, who knows how they built it. So we wanted to ensure, if there's anything we wanted assurance around, it was this addition. Mm -hmm. The inspector was very easy to talk to in that and I followed him around. I mean, he seemed like a knowledgeable guy. We looked outside and we looked inside and I asked questions mm -hmm. and um, he seemed to be able to answer them to our satisfaction. And by the end of it, he filled out a, a binder and you know made a few notes and told us uh, there were some minor things that needed to be looked after in the short term. So everything was okay, and so you know we said, okay, it's a go. Let's buy the house. As soon as the weather started getting cold, you could actually feel the cold resonating up through the floor. If you're standing at the kitchen sink, there's blasts of cold coming under the sink, and it really. Um, we thought this would be a wonderful usable space and um, it's ending up that we can really only use the main part of the kitchen, the original part of the kitchen. Michelle? Hi. Uh, Mike, nice to meet you. Neil? Yeah, great. Pleasure to meet you. We are extremely excited that he is coming in to help us out. Uh, we know he and his crew will do it right. Um, they are extremely professional, knowledgeable, skilled. Um, it's like winning a lottery. <laughs> now if we just take a walk outside first, since I have my coat on. Oh, spring's coming, it's just not here yet. How old's the house? Uh, 28 years. So what do you know about this addition? Do you know if there's a permit? That yes, we did we check did. with the town. We and? checked with that, and there was a permit. That's and, good. And it passed inspection. Okay. We checked both of those things. Okay, see, that makes me happy. Yes. So we have bricks, so they tied it back into the house. I see the mortar joint in the corner, and I'd rather see some sort of a rubberized caulking rather than the mortar joint. If you notice, that joint is already cracking. Did they dig down, or do we just have, is it the kitchen's on grade? We uh, initially thought it was on grade, but I've since learned uh, through some investigative work of our own that it's actually on uh, a crawl space. The, yes. And they sealed off the crawl space? Yes. Yeah, we don't know that there's an access. We've never seen a way to get under there. I did not read about this in the report. This is an issue to me. I can tell where the addition starts because we have this beautiful display on the ceiling, but this was it here, right? So it was a small kitchen before. The kitchen was actually this area here. I'm going to assume that the sink, there was a, a back window here, probably a door. But the floor is cold. Because the floor is cold from the addition point where it started out to here, that tells me that we could have insulation problems or it could be just minimum cold. But I do feel a drastic cold here. Uh, the thermometer's in the corner here. And what is the temperature at? Last I checked, uh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. OK, it looks like it's just, just over 60 degrees. So that it, it is. I'm going to stand here for a second. And that is extremely cold in the corner. 
So when we find the differences of temperatures, this means we have a cool draft coming in somewhere. And it's usually underneath here, especially this corner. There's definitely a cool draft. I'm going to bring in some tools. We're going to see just how cold the area is. And it's actually a thermographic image camera. And it'll show right on the camera all the cold zones. And odds are, it's just a draft. Because it's amazing what a draft can do. Plumbing, it can actually yeah. freeze your plumbing. It could be insulated perfect, perfectly. But if we have that draft going across that area, it will freeze the pipes. And it'll also freeze the floor. And what happens when the floor is cold? Your feet are cold and you're cold. Yes. You wear slippers. You don't have them on right now. I don't have them on right, now. Them on right now, yeah. but my feet are cold. I can actually open up a three foot opening and not affect the structure. And I have access A to get in there, B to create a warm zone, a condition zone. In the fall we had um, a really nasty smell. One thing's for sure, if there's a dead critter, you're not missing a cat or anything, right? No. no. <laughs> okay. You know, not only is the house cold, but you have electrical problems too, and then you start not feeling safe in your own house. What's wrong with the electrical? We've identified that this is a circuit that's got like 19 devices on it or something <laughs> like that. There was too many things on this one circuit. Right. It was not in the report. No. But we did have permits for the kitchen. Yeah. You checked. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you didn't check to see if there's electrical, did you? No. I will bring an electrician. I will check to see if there was an electrical permit. You said you closed off that one piece of duct line at the yeah, window. Yeah, the other duct. We had to close it off um, because in the fall we had um, a really nasty smell. You could actually smell it coming right out of the register. Like a dead animal? Yeah. yeah. And so we were just kind of going around smelling off the we registers. Had a, we had a, we called in another duct cleaning guy. This is like, you know, two in a year now. And he said, that's that smell is a dead animal. Let's go downstairs okay. so I can see downstairs. All right. This is where you opened up the ductwork to close it off? Yes, exactly. And you're saying this line was leading the smell or it's in this line? I think it's in that line there. That's going into the... Into the crawl space. Yeah. You know, one thing's for sure, if there's a dead critter, you're not missing a cat or anything, right? No. no. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this is where I would have cut a hole into the foundation. If you're going to put on an addition, you definitely want a crawl space that is conditioned, much like your basement. The home inspector definitely should have been looking for access to the crawl space. I'll leave it there. I'm going to get my tools. I'm going to go through this house with a fine tooth comb. I'm going to check everything else just to make sure everything else is all right. But it, uh, I see enough that there's things that I can uh, jump on. And uh, when I open it up, I'll bring it back. OK. OK? And we'll show you what we found. OK. All right, and hopefully it's not a dead critter. Yes. Let's hope not. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start with uh, thermographic image reading of the kitchen, because I think it's just a smart move. Temperature in the morning is nice and cold outside, and it's warm on the inside, so it gives me different readings here. We can see a very cold zone in the corner there, and I can actually point to it with the laser. The tiles are cooler. Well, watch this, OK? My hand's on the wall. And watch the difference. Right away, I'm warming that tile, and this camera will pick it up. So he said the plug was really cold in the corner. I can see it clearly here. Looks are deceiving, right? They come in here, it looks really nice. No wonder they bought the house. They love the kitchen. They love the backyard. I listened to what they said. This, their oasis is in the backyard. So first vision is like, oh, this is beautiful. You know, there was permits on it. Everything is done. But you know, you put your hand up here. It's, it was, he talked about it later on, how I'm noticing things are wrong. That is a cool draft coming in there. I'm just looking at the connection from the existing house to the addition, and we have one hell of a cold spot on that wall. So all that dark blue is very cold. From the ceiling on this side of the kitchen to here, we have a difference of five degrees in Celsius. And we can see, by looking up, all kinds of cold spots right on the ceiling. So I want to take some pictures. Uh, documenting, because everything for me is about documenting. Here is the drain line that is to the island upstairs. And the problem with that is what do we see? It's running uphill. Water doesn't run uphill. Comes down from the sink, runs uphill, and then feeds down to the proper drain. 
they always leave two spare breakers in the panel, right? And that's the idea that if you do, you add something, yeah, yeah, an air conditioning, something like that. Now, this is our obviously full. Now, the funny thing in here is that we did cut, a, I'm gonna say that's a 30 amp line. Somebody's cut that off. I don't know where it leads to, we'll find out. I'll bring in Frank, my electrician. He's gonna take a look at the place and see what not only the other contractor has done, but possibly what his Neil has done here. And when I talked to Neil, he talked about uh, the dishwasher was hooked up to other lines. Now it shouldn't be. Uh, the receptacles on the counter are supposed to be on their own. It should have been from the old kitchen. So where'd those lines go is my point. They all had their own lines before. Where the hell did they go? Neil disconnected the pipe, which I'm actually gonna run my camera down to see if we do see a critter. This is a snake camera. We can actually stick this in a hole and I have a good wide range of view and it tells me the things that I need to know. What's on the other side of that? What's the depth of the floor? What I'm hoping not to see is actually a dead critter in there. And right from the distance that I'm looking now, I can't see beyond it, so if there is, it's a lot further than about four feet in. Let's try it from upstairs. In reality, it's not the inspector's job to do what I'm doing. It's the inspector's job to create a report based on what's right with the house, what's wrong with the house. I'm going to stage two. So rather than drilling downstairs, I chose to come up here and go through the register area. And it looks like the mice are having a wonderful home down there because we see the crap on the insulation right in the ductwork. I'm trying to find out how much distance I have underneath the floor joist to the bottom of the addition. And I'm hoping there's three feet because I know they had to go down four feet by code. I know for a fact they had to. So did they backfill it with earth all the way up and then put in the floor joist? Man, I hope not, I really do. It's a garbage site. It looks like it's full with all kinds of brick that they didn't use. Look at, there's a nice coffee cup. And with all the crap that I'm seeing down there, all the stone, is it piled up, is it continued through, I don't know. And the fight is, is for me to tell Damon, go through the kitchen floor or go through the basement. You know, it's a pretty small addition. It's only about, say, 12 feet by about 16 feet. The things that I don't like is the downspouts, because we're going to have to worry about the downspouts actually bleeding into the weeping system. Now, being on the inside corner, it's going to make a water trap in this corner, which, if there's too much rain here, it's going to penetrate into the foundation. What do we have here? We have <laughs> three pieces of sill. So, what they've done here, minimum code says that you're supposed to cock these joints, okay? Mortar is not acceptable because what? It cracks, it will, it'll dry, it'll shrink, and this is the first area for moisture to get in. So if you see anything like this, get a caulking bead right over top of it. Actually chisel it back just a bit so you get a nice bead of caulking. The less water in the house, the better for me. Okay, Damon. This is it. Oh, it looks good, eh? Yeah. So I was able to pull out the register over by the window over there. We got a hell of a cold floor here. Oh, so that's the issue? Yeah, well, uh, it's, there's a crawl space under here yeah. that we can't get to. And I want you to open up a path in here approximately six by five. Not too much, make sure the homeowners can get around, although after today they're gonna be zoned out of here. Let's look at what needs to go to protect it. And okay. Then plastic it up. Do they have something else they can use as a kitchen? Are they going to be here? Yeah, it's called a restaurant. <laughs> okay. You just put your hand across the wall. Oh, it is cool. Okay, so right here, and that happens to be the outside wall. Right. So I have a feeling he has no insulation here. Our electricians in. Mm -hmm. They're going to be doing some wiring. We need our plumbers in. They're okay. going to be doing some plumbing. We need our roofers in, Rob, and Better Contracting. They're gonna have to pull the roof vent. I have a cold zone in the middle of the ceiling here. Yeah. And I don't wanna cut the ceiling. We're still in, as far as I'm concerned, in inspection mode and determining by tomorrow morning yeah. what exactly we're gonna do. I'm hoping to hell I don't have to pull all the cabinets. Well, yeah, I guess. But I have a bad feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah your good feeling. feelings are usually right. And it's a bad feeling. <laughs> Mike's asked us to come in and check out why we have a cold floor. That's where we do exploratory holes. Allows us to go in and fix the problem. You come in here, it looks really nice. The receptacles on the counter are supposed to be on their own. It should have been from the old kitchen. So where'd those lines go is my point. They all had their own lines before. Where the hell did they go? Wow, there's one hell of a draft here. This is not blowing my hair.
We never enter a house without protecting everything of the homeowners. I mean, the worst thing you want to do is come in and fix something and break something else and, you know, have to fix that. Yeah, I want to go around the staircase. So I don't want anything going upstairs. I don't want anything going in these rooms. That's what we do in every job. Okay, so I've already marked out the floor. You're just going to chalk line it with me? Okay. Just start it off and you just lower it on. Don't be afraid of it. We have a cold floor. Why do we have a cold floor? This is an addition. We don't know, really. I'm assuming it's improper insulation, holding the foundation. Mike's asked us to come in and check out why we have a cold floor. That's where we do exploratory holes. Find out what's going on underneath. Allows us to go in and fix the problem. Well, we have a dead mouse here, but I don't think that's the actual issue from the smell. Can we get a garbage bag for that? Really, we gotta get right down in there, find out what's going on. Well, I can definitely see my breath down here. Okay, that's probably enough for Mike to see for the, uh, the night. We're actually taking a patch out of the wall to look behind and do some exploratory work, see what's there. I tell you, I don't need to go to the gym because my arm is aching. <laughs> it's a good workout. There's the outside of the original house right there. That is freezing cold. That's almost, I can feel almost ice could form on that right now. There's no insulation behind this piece of framing right here. Obviously, insulating was not a priority here. We're trying to, uh, we're trying to dig down four feet and see if we can find the footings for uh, the foundation. It's hard as rock. It's frozen clay, so I mean, you can't get too much harder than that unless you, you're shoveling rock. So yeah, it's fun. Okay, only four feet, guys. We're not trying to find the bottom of it. I mean, if it ends up at two feet, stop there. I'm trying to find out how big that is. What we're gonna do is we're giving them an access in the foundation inside the basement. I need to know how far that footing goes. I don't wanna go underneath the footing, right? This will take us, I think, at least, when you say another 20 minutes, half hour? It'll be 40 minutes the way we're going. Well, we're basically done for today. That was a very quick job. We opened the floor for Mike. Uh, I got to bring him in now to see it. Uh, I have a feeling we'll be pulling the cabinets so again. I'll, I'll let him make that call. I've opened up everything he needs to see. And let him come in tomorrow. Tell me what he wants me to do here. There's a hole in the floor. There is a hole in the floor, sir, as you asked. OK, we see some good things here. They did use plywood. It's very rare that I'm going to see anyone, any contractor, use a vapor barrier on top of the floor. But because they use plywood, they should use the vapor barrier. Now, you didn't find any critters, right? No, there's a couple of dead mice. Nothing really major. No dead raccoons, which was nice. Is that concrete or clay? That is clay. It was wet, and then it dried out. Uh, we're going to have other issues in the future of every time it rains too much, we're going to have that smell again. They're going to think there's a dead animal in there. Right. So uh, you're right. Today, you're going to pull the counters, OK? Yeah. No choice about it. Get the stove out, get the dishwasher out, get them in the garage, get them protected, wrapped up, wrap them like a birthday present, get the island out. So if we can win on a two-foot crawl space underneath the floor joist, yeah. so I'll accept that. But that means we've got to go another four inches plus rigid foam. So you're going to be at least, at least 30 inches yeah. down from the bottom of the floor joist. And after we're done all here, yeah. which is going to take you a while, <laughs> yeah. that's when we'll start tying into the okay. basement and creating an access. Although this is past code and it was acceptable, this is not good enough. This is nothing but a problem waiting to happen. What if in the future that we solve all these problems and I don't create an access and I don't dig this down, we have a plumbing problem? Yep. How do you get to it? So we're going to make sure we thermal break the floor. Okay. We're going to rigid foam it. We're going to put a vapor bear on top of it to pour mm -hmm. concrete. We are going to spray foam the walls and then we're going to fire rate it with a spray over top of that. You know this is like at least a day here, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, how about two? Yeah. yeah. If you can do it in one, I'm really surprised, and I'll buy everyone a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> how about a coffee, guys, for that? Yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll get a coffee donut. I don't think it's a donut, too. Come on. So have fun. Yeah, thanks a lot. Any problems? <laughs> Call me. OK. <laughs> Let's get this floor up. Come flush here, make me a line. We're gonna come two feet off each wall, cut the floor out, lift it, dig it out. There we go. Okay, that's dangerous. We 
got a lot of digging to do. These guys are going to continue digging. I want to see more of this floor up. And this is what happens. This isn't just this small little area. It affects this whole room, which affects my baseboard. It affects everything we do in this kitchen. Everything. It's like a gut. We're re-renovating this whole kitchen. So that's where we're at. We were actually talking about that today, about hauling concrete and doing different dirty jobs and tough jobs. And really, this is just another job. The best part about my job is actually demo. It's the funnest part. I know the street's keeping you there, but nice. <laughs> Demolition just, it's just dirty. It's no fun. Just having these joists in the way makes it that much more difficult, because then we get things like this. And we actually have to dig trenches. It's fun to be up here, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like this position. You would. You've been standing like in that position all day. <laughs> it's about time you get in the hole and start doing some work. <laughs> Today's been good. Everybody. Steady working. Everyone's happy. Well, you know what the best thing about this is? They don't want the sink here anymore, so we're eliminating all of this. Uh, watch the hole in the floor. This was wow. for where your island was. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. This isn't just this small little area. It affects this whole room, which affects my baseboard. It affects everything we do in this kitchen. Everything. It's like a gut. We're re-renovating this whole kitchen. Hi. I'm Michelle. Hello, folks. Neil. Hi. Come on in. Come look at what we've done so far to your house. All right. All right. I think we're making room for a hot yeah, tub, to be honest with you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. It'll be in your kitchen, though, if you don't mind. Okay. It's a bigger kitchen yeah. than I thought it was. <laughs> Uh, watch the hole in the floor. This was wow. for where your island was. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. When I first looked underneath it, I did find a ton of brick, and I, so a little bit of garbage, nothing serious. The further we go, the more we see. So once it was opened, I said, OK, lose the counters. Uh, we're going to have to open it right up, and I want this dug down, and I'm going to explain why. If you ever had a leak, if you ever had to work on the electrical, you wouldn't have been able to get down there. But lo and behold, what does Damon find once he's pulling everything out? Ooh, they do have an access. Not a nice one. But... No, can you imagine being the guy to crawl through there? Yeah. So there was a way to get down there. Wow. That would have been really nice to tell you that once you bought the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you ever want to get down there, you yeah. go underneath yeah. the dishwasher. Because we did not find a critter in the ductwork, I'm going to assume that when you had this smell, it was raining outside. Was it raining? Yes, yes. OK, well, what's in your floor? It's clay and they did not seal your foundation. Problem is, is that it's gonna allow water to get into the earth. What I'm gonna make sure we do is to relocate the downspouts. That'll require new east trough on the back side of this house, pulling the downspout to the outside of the deck. When water mixed with clay, it oh, smells like yeah. not only the toilet, okay, but add a little bit of uh, kill factor in there of an animal. Mm -hmm. Mix the two together and you're like sniffing through everywhere. It's literally coming from the earth. What I'm gonna make sure we do is that we dig this down. We thermal break the floor by putting down two inches of rigid foam. We then put in a vapor barrier over top of the rigid foam and we pour a concrete pad. Then I'm gonna cut an entrance in your basement and the foundation wall to get into it in case ever anything ever happened. And we are going to solve the small problems on the wall on this side. We're going to repair your electrical and the flooring. New floor. We still have a ton of things to do. But after all this is said and done, it will be toasty warm. You will be totally comfortable. And trust me, it will look the same. Maybe a new countertop or two. That sounds great. OK. Fantastic. Our Thank job you. is done for now. Thank Damon, you. is uh, you are in good hands. Right. Damon is going to take Thank this you. over. And uh, we'll at the end of it, bit, We'll come back and take a really good look at it and jump in the hot tub together. Right. <laughs> and you're going to serve me, right? All right. If I have to, I cook a mean steak on the barbie. All right. All right. Sounds good. OK. How you doing? Pretty good. So? Good, man. Things like your dishwasher, things like your counter plug need their own breaker. Right. They do have a heavier load. So what they've done here is simply done the addition and tapped off whatever circuit was available. So every time they want to use the coffee maker and the dishwasher at the same time, they trip the breaker downstairs. But I do need to string new lines from here yeah. and bring them into that area and redo okay. the counter plugs. And I have to redo the uh, dishwasher. The microwave uh, receptacle yeah. is also done incorrectly. Yeah. And uh, that counter plug uh, that was on the island yeah. was Gross. So are we just uh, dealing with the kitchen at this point? The entire kitchen is where I'm going to start. At the end of the day, my opinion is going to be that whoever did that renovation, yep. they 
there's no way that they pulled up a uh, right. contractor we're to fix, this work. We're fixing the floor, which means we're fixing the plumbing. He obviously did it all. Now we're fixing the electrical. Same guy. Exactly. Well, what we're doing here is uh, we're pulling a line for the, uh, one's going to be for the counter plug, and the other one's going to be for the dishwasher. How, many, how much more, Dave? That's all? We still have to pull uh, one more for the uh, other counter plug and for the microwave hood fan. Well, we got a big day happening here today. We had uh, all this dug out as of Friday, and uh, it was a huge job. It took us about three days to get this all out. I think everyone's a little tired, including myself. I have Carl here. He's actually grading the gravel a little bit. Three o'clock, concrete comes in. After that, we can do some blocking, strengthen this right up. I had uh, Team BB come in. That's what I like to call them. It's Bubbers and Bear. That's Sherry and MJ's nickname. They're, uh, you know, brother and sister, and we have little nicknames for them. So I have them working as a team on this wall. Uh, so they're popping the tile. I also have to cut a hole in this foundation wall. What we had to do was give them a proper crawl space. We want this space heated, so what we're gonna basically do here is open up a hole right here. It's a doorway to acclimatize this room to the existing house. We want this area warm, same as the basement in the existing house. I'm just putting in the uh, the joist hangers here for the added support that was originally required that should have been put in um, by the by the original contractor. Joist hangers are, are a code requirement on anything um, anything that's basically suspended. Um, if it's if it's a cantilever over four feet, um, you're required joist hangers. And this this span here is uh, almost 12 feet with no support under either side. All right, so this plate here, it's where they started their new floor joists. And it's just what I'm doing, it's I'm putting the leg bolts through this plate and then the plate behind it to attach the old floor joists to the new ones to make it one solid structure. Keep it from bouncing and squeaking. Uh, we have concrete coming in two hours. I gotta get all the dirt off this. I have to level this ground. I have to get my, start, uh, my two inch rigid foam down. Okay. I have to get my vapor barrier. And then I have to get my mesh on. So we're in a bit of a rush here. I'm just trying to get everyone going. Thanks, Sheriff. I need a piece uh, 49 inches here, Carl, please. Okay, guys, concrete is here. So let's get that done as quick as possible. I want to start laying the mesh on this side. By the time we get over to you, Carl, you guys should be done, okay? Oh, we're just going to set the boom up uh, outside of the front door and then run uh, some pipe and some hoses in and uh, hopefully fill up the hole they have in the back of the house there. Carl, when you're taping this plastic, absolutely no gaps in the tape, right? So concrete doesn't get under it? Thank you. So we're really in a bit of a rush to uh, get this all finished and done properly. Well, we're getting in the last of our mesh here. Uh, we do have concrete here. We're about to start pouring any time. So we can run in this hose right now. <laughs> Here's your list for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys, concrete is here. So let's get that done as quick as possible. I want to start laying the mesh on this side. By the time we get over to you, Carl, you guys should be done, okay? special case when you're going into an existing house. Well, you have to deal with things, what's in the house. I mean, uh, when you pump the concrete, it's under a lot of pressure. Um, you don't want to have a hose blow or get a hole or make a mess because it can very easily plug up. Oh, it stopped right there, eh? It's like right here somewhere. 
Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. I want at least four inches of concrete. I know I have a six inch styrofoam curb here, so I'm just looking for my two inches all the way around. The concrete we're using today is called Jillia. It's a self-leveling, very flowable concrete. A situation like this where we can't get down into the into the pit, we're gonna be able to uh, finish it much quicker, much easier. Everything self-levels. No troweling, everything's done from above. Let's dump the hose, I think we're pretty well there. We'll take the rest of it and call it a day. Okay. okay? Well, this is a laser level. This gives me an accurate measurement around the whole room without using a level. We're laying a floor over this. It's a wooden floor that's gotta be connected to each other. So if you have a dip in the floor, you're actually gonna see that seam wanna give. This is about an eighth off from, uh, from the high point. Yeah, they had it pretty much right. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's start dealing with this. Let's get this strip up and I wanna see what this floor looks like. Looking at 28, 28, or 24, 28, or? I'm looking at 28 by whatever that height's okay. gonna be with a four inch curb, okay? okay? Now what I wanna do is put a hole into where our crawl space is gonna be to acclimatize that area to the house temperature. Hey, this engine, it's a, it's a large engine. The machine itself is really heavy and it's producing a lot of carbon monoxide. So I need to have a lot of exhaust going out. So I'm hoping for fresh air to come in and a lot of the carbon monoxide that gets put out from the machine and the concrete dust has to actually be pulled out. It's really important because you know what? I got a heavy saw here. I'm gonna be doing a serious cut. The saw could actually kick back. What the blocking's gonna do is it's uh, it's actually gonna lock the floor together um, so that instead of one joist absorbing all the shock and all the bounce, it, the whole floor is gonna be locked tight and take it all, and it's really gonna strengthen it and take the flex out. Fourteen and three eighths, please. I'm, uh, I'm drilling a one inch hole every six inches or so because uh, we want to get some spray foam in behind here because it's a, it's a big cold zone and we're losing a lot of heat from the, this area. If you put your hand here, you can actually feel the draft because this is where the addition and the old part of the house meets. We have Alex coming real soon. What I'm gonna get him to do is probably spray about uh, two and a half to three inches of uh, spray foam right around on these walls and give it a complete thermal break. This is why we brought up our insulation, our rigid insulation above our concrete so that when his insulation hits it, it ties it right in and it stops any cold from coming in here. If you miss a certain point, let's say you miss a small corner with insulation, you're basically taking the value out of everything else you've done because you're letting in the cold out in that one area. So I want him to hit everything possible and he always does, he does a great job. It's gonna be a two-step process. They're gonna do their uh, three inches, two and a half, three inches of spray foam right around the edge, and then they're gonna come back and do a fire retardant right over top of that. Insulation always has to be protected. So whether it's with drywall or whether a fire retardant, they're gonna actually put a fire retardant on here because it's a crawl space. Two, three. Uh, it's going great now. You know what? The most labor-intensive part of this job was digging out that hole. Uh, the job itself was, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. We're coming to the end of it now. Uh, we have our foreign hardwoods going in. You know, once you see hardwood going in, that's a finish. You know you're coming to the end of it. So, uh, you know, I'm sort of giving it a little push here. I want to try and, uh, you know, get it done in the next couple of days. You know, nothing wrong with getting it done a little earlier than we said. Nothing wrong with that at all. Here. You want me up there? Come on. I'm a carpenter, not a roofer. Yeah, buddy, this is all the action is. What's we'll going get... on? 
I want to pull this off. Yeah. Cheapest bench. Let's see what we have in there, bud, for one sec. There better not be raccoons in here. Well, it looks like pretty good insulation up here. They just missed it down below. I don't think we're going to need much more in there. So uh, what about the rest of the roof? You got half the water from the upper roof draining there right. on this side. And on the other side, you got an inside corner as well. Yeah. Not as much water, but still the same problem. So divert everything to the backyard, get it away from the foundation. Yeah. All right, as long as we get that out of the ground, yeah. bring it to the backyard. <laughs> Okay, let's lift that into place, please. There. What it's like to go down. Okay, that's my arm. Sorry. Thank you. Looks good. the inspector, we trusted his judgment, that he was professional and expert and would give us the information that we needed. He did a few things wrong, right? So we have to look into the electrical. We have to look into why this floor is cool. Do I have to open up this wall? Do I have to open up that wall? Uh, now we start talking about the floor. How do I get down there? Okay, this is what I call a crawl space. This is what it should have been in the first place. Well, we've eliminated three things. We've eliminated smell. We've eliminated the moisture and we've eliminated the cold. Uh, what we've done here is given them a proper crawl space, heated, uh, we've insulated all the sides, we've fireproofed the insulation, we've put concrete on the ground, we've cut a hole to acclimatize this area to the existing house, and we also brought in heat just for added warmth. We're actually gonna put a light in here for them as well for any future use. I would use this as storage as well as a crawl space for any maintenance in the future. I think uh, my job here is almost done. That lines up perfectly with that doorway, and I want to give them maximum room here. I've got about 72 and a half to that corner there. You know what we might have to do is just pull it forward just a bit. Try not to drag it too much. That's, that's not bad. Whoa, 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 come back. Joe, how you doing, bud? Almost there. Good. You leaving those out a little bit for me so yeah. I can pull them out? Leaving them on and taping them up. Everything's in place. I'm in tile stage. I can't even actually believe this. I'm actually laying tile right now, so. Got a little surprise for Sherry. I've sent her out to the store right now. She's actually gonna learn how to do tiles. Sink or swim, I say. And, uh, Sherry Holmes. There you are. Uh, you're gonna help me do some tiles, okay? So I'm gonna teach you the basics on how to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna butter the wall. We're gonna trowel it with our 3 8 trowel. And then you're gonna take your trowel and you're gonna back butter it. Basically, you're putting the adhesive on the wall and on the tile for full grab. You're the installer, I'm the laborer right now. <laughs> you like that, eh? You wanna make sure you put it on the wall firm, okay? And give it a little slap. Let's give it a little. Now spacers, you want one at the bottom of the top and that squares up your tile to the tile before it, okay? Keep putting them on. And we're gonna go back and level them after, okay? We wanna get a few on. There's no sense leveling every tile. That's a waste of time, right? Getting any more stuff. Oh, Yay! That uh, looks real good. Yeah, it is nice. So who did the tile? Uh, Sherry did the tile. Adam did some cuts for her, but otherwise she laid them. She was doing it. Good job, buddy. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're happy. I think they're going to like it. I think they will, too. Yeah. And we have nice brackets on the yeah. side of this. Perfect. And they beefed it up just to give it a bit of support underneath. Yeah, that's just a smart move. Love it. Let's go get them. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Uh, 
time, Michelle. Long time no see. Yes. Nice How you doing? How are you? Good to see you, Michelle. Good. Neil. Damon. How are you? You, you too. Sarah Neil. Mike. Long time. <laughs> Come on. Let's okay, go great. See. All right. Good. Actually, what I want to do is that we're going to walk by the kitchen, so sort of ignore the kitchen, because I want to take you downstairs first, and we'll talk downstairs. OK. So ignore the kitchen, OK? OK. Follow me. Let's start off with the panel here. Joe, he really separated everything and had to run a couple of new lines and, and made sure that the dishwasher is on its own, the fridge is on its own, the receptacles were proper all the way. Uh, he also itemized everything, all the breakers. We want to know what they are. And the best thing I love about this, there's two of them. One being that we have a total surge protector on your house. And on top of that, something new that I'm not used to is we have this little sticker on the box here, right here. And that sticker is because the ESA came in to inspect oh. the electrical. They marked the box. This is a new system. And it's, okay. they can identify through the number that somebody was here and okayed it. So Great. it's all been passed. Oh, good. And I'm happy. It's cleaned up. So let's look at the hole we put in your wall because we okay. did put a hole in your wall. We have a beautiful uh, Agilia floor, which is a, the best concrete on the market. It's a self-leveling concrete. And underneath that concrete, we have a thermal break. And I keep talking about that thermal break. Stop hot from eating cold, so it's rigid foam. Now, Alex and his boys came in. They sprayed the uh, foam, the uh, wall tight eagle on the walls, and then a fire retardant spray goes over oh. top of it. So that's why it looks kind of rough. It looks like mm -hmm. concrete. It's uh -huh. not. It's a fire retardant spray. Okay. And we have to do that to make sure that it can never catch a flame or uh, anything like that. So you can go in there and play. It can be a playhouse, it can be anything you want. <laughs> or storage. No, I like storage. it. I like it as storage. They checked your duct work, ran the new lines that had to be in, ran the new hotline, uh, and then they actually put in a lint trap off your dryer. Oh. Wow. So I'm really happy about that. Well, that's nice. great. That, that was unexpected. That's awesome. Now we can see your kitchen. All right. Hey. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. Oh, come on. It's a kitchen. <laughs> no, this is not our kitchen. You picked the countertop, right? I like it. I like the countertop. Oh, my it's God. It's beautiful. You picked the color? Yeah. Bluish gray. Wow. Well, come on and take a look. Wow, look at the backsplash. Sherry did the backsplash. Wow. This really? was her oh. first tile job, and I'm really, really impressed. Chris came in. You put, oh. it, you put it the floor that you wanted in here. Beautiful. Made sure that you had a receptacle in the right location here that would Great. be underneath the microwave. Uh, two switches receptacle, proper receptacle, nice and warm with your bell line. Now, you remember this wall over here? This wall was my camera. I think we talked about it before. My camera picked up a huge cold zone right here. Right. And I said that's where the addition was. Right. Well, sure enough, that's where the stud, the studded structure was with no insulation. So we did that void and they drilled holes and they were actually spray their own product in behind that as well. There is no difference of temperature from one side to the other and I can feel it on my hands and that means we did something right. So here's the test. Take your shoes off. Okay. Walk on the floor. Uh, uh, all right. If this was before, we would be cold right now. I don't feel any cold. This, this is not anything like it felt before. This is amazing. We did move the downspouts out and directed to the outside of the flower beds, away from the house, away from the foundation. Something small, something simple, something smart. Truth is, is underneath it all is the most important thing, and that's what we took care of. That's the things you don't see. You know? So it's I'm, at least you have a smile on your face for what you do see, uh -huh. I'm happy. If the home inspector actually knew about construction, he would have uh, warned you about there's no crawl space. Yeah. I have no entrance to this crawl space. There's definitely issues with electrical, and you found that out on your own, didn't right. you? Right. To miss the really important things that can cost so much money right. is why we're here to say we need to make this right. We need to look into this and make a better home inspection that is a better peace of mind for you too. It's no longer going to stink, be cold, or be an issue. Oh, that's fabulous. Thank you. Our jobs are done. No. Oh, okay. so, uh, thank you. I sound like I get paid. Mm, thank, thank you, you so now, much. Now, Damon wants some pay, too. Uh, yeah. Neil? All right. All right. All right. Fantastic. Great. Great. We're, we're really, really happy. All right. All right. Oh, you're you're welcome. Welcome. Push. Push. <laughs> show Michelle which way the beach is. No. Yes, yeah. yeah, show me the beach. Which way's the beach? Which way's the beach? Yeah. Where's the light you fixed? Come on. 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 Come on.